Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading for the month of August of 2022 and beyond. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well. Yes, please keep in mind, Scorpio, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that time. If you would like to get some more personal inform or personal guidance in these readings here, I highly recommend that you smash that like button, leave me a comment in the comment section down below, subscribe, but definitely leave me a comment that absolutely helps me to connect with your energy. It does leave an energetic stamp in the situation, so that will help me to pick up on your energy more. So if there's more guidance that Spirit wants to bring to you at any given moment, we will be able to do that. Of course, if you would like to get a per official personal reading, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me the email and let me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. Yeah, Scorpio. All right. Two more shuffles then. And we will see what messages, what's going on, what's going on for my Scorpios at this time. Please, Spirit, lash a shuffle. Alrighty. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio at this time? Oh no, the Five of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, uh, I want to say this. When I first started connecting with your energy, before I started recording and everything like that, I felt, I, I felt a level of sentimentality and I was like, oh, I want to give Scorpio a hug. Like I just love now, of course, that led me to thinking of certain individuals that in my life that are Scorpios that I'm very fond of. So, OK, that's wonderful. But now you have this five of cups and maybe, OK, maybe this is why I want to give you a hug. All right. What's going on with Scorpio at this time? The devil is reversed. Ooh, overcoming some sort of addictions or some sort of troubling energies, troubling circumstances, maybe. Uh, letting go of attachments. What I want to say is someone here is finally clear of some sort of addictive energy or some sort of codependent energy or some sort of attachment. And right now, I'm hearing preliminary process. So right now, it feels like you're in the emotional grieving period, even if this release from some sort of devilish energy is a good thing. There's still something to grieve here, okay? And I did hear preliminary process, so I feel like you're in the beginning stages of this release. I feel like you may have, depending on whenever you're watching this reading, right, take it as it resonates, but you may have just like freshly stepped out of this situation and now you're going through the grieving process. Bam, Eight of Cups is next to the Nine of Pentacles. Whoa, Scorpio. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. All right, Scorpio, this is actually really good. Really, really, what, oh, this wants to show itself, Temperance. Okay, as you can see here, Temperance is here. Ooh, Temperance with the world. Look at this, this was at the top of the deck. Um, this is just some extra stuff for you here. Um, but what I was gonna say is, Scorpio, even though you may be grieving at this time, this feels excellent. This definitely feels like some sort of relationship here. Um, I'm getting maybe a baby mama drama. Now, I'm, I'm getting that from, you know, I do have a friend that is a Scorpio in tropic, no, in true sidereal astrology. Um, he thinks he's a, a Sagittarius, but I definitely see Scorpio, more Scorpio in him. Um, but anyway... Uh, I, I'm picking I'm picking up on that because of this friend that I know that has a child with someone else. Um, I'm not necessarily saying they're going through that, but that association is coming through. So that could be what some of you are dealing with. I have channeled something like that for you before. Some sort of baby, baby mama or baby daddy uh, uh, drama. It could be that. Otherwise, it could be a relationship a romantic relationship or some sort of romantic situation or tie or codependent situation. 
But ultimately, what it is you're moving through right now, Scorpio, is the grieving process of leaving some sort of, I did hear an emotional attachment. That could definitely be what the devil represents here for you. All right, but you're leaving something toxic, something codependent, some sort of attachment behind and stepping into a level of independence with that nine of pentacles. Someone is definitely becoming single at this time or is, or is single or is very much being an independent body, thinking for themselves, standing on their own, very sovereign. It feels like here, Scorpio, you're going from a moment of being codependent and attached to something or someone to standing on your own and either being single or just independent. And that has everything to do with the work you have been doing. Eight of Pentacles is your overall energy. Now, specifically, Scorpio, I'm feeling like this Eight of Pentacles energy is self-mastery work. Now, obviously, that would, if, if you know the Tarot enough, that would technically be represented by the Three of Pentacles. But I'm also getting the Eight of, the, I'm getting that through the Eight of Pentacles here because this has been consistent work that you have been doing to improve yourself, or maybe I'm hearing to improve your way of life. So the devil here could actually be um, belief systems in terms of lack mentality, very five of pentacles type of energy, uh, not feeling like you're good enough or not feeling like you're worthy, or maybe dealing with some sort of financial issues, uh, poverty and whatnot, whatever but you're leaving that behind. You're actively leaving back that behind. And this could be, a, you could be in the very beginning stages of this. I did hear a pr the preliminary process. So you're in the very beginning stages of releasing this toxicity, the devil, this attachment, this belief system, this codependency, whatnot, whatever. And you're starting to walk away from it. And that's definitely would be why, or that would definitely be why you have this five of cups energy here of at least right now, feeling the grief or going through the grieving process of this beautiful but i still want to give you a hug scorpio because you're you might be a sad panda right now but also i want to give you a hug because i want to congratulate you on being independent and sovereign regardless as to how that looks right now scorpio i want to make something very clear again for a lot of you i'm picking up on this is the preliminary this is a preliminary process or at the very least we could say it is the beginning of the start of this new reality or this process of you standing in, in an independent energy Okay, so yes, there may be a lot to grieve right now. There absolutely may be a lot to grieve right now. Um, hold on a second, guys. Sorry, I had to pause for a second because a mosquito was flying around and I didn't want to potentially hurt your ears with my loud clapping noise of trying to get it, them damn skeeters. Of course, I missed it, but it's okay. It's on notice now, so it'll probably stay away from me. Anyway. Preliminary process, Scorpio, this is all a good thing. Liberation is at hand. And I was saying that to Libra. I literally said that to Libra. Liberation is at hand. I was saying that to, 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 to Virgo. I mean, that seems to be the collective theme right now. Liberation. Now, granted, that makes sense, especially if this is really resonating for you for the month of August, because we do have this Lion's Gate 888 portal coming through, which is a very liberating thing. You know, crossing through that portal requires you to do the personal work to liberate yourself and come out the other side of that portal free, strong, and happy. Okay, cool. So let's dive deeper. What's going on here for Scorpio? Let's talk about, I want to talk about this devil. What's the devil in reverse, please, Spirit? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's the devil for Scorpio? Seven of Cups, options, maybe even gaslighting. Mm, I just heard betrayal, okay. Uh, judgment, all right. Clarify the devil. Mm, that's it. Okay, but then we're back to the world. All right, Vir uh, <clears throat> sorry, not Virgo, uh, Scorpio. So... Again, keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, right? So I'm, I'm channeling this for potentially thousands of people. Um, whatever the real true specifics or specificities are in terms of this situation for you, define that for yourself. But at its base, this devil, this toxic energy that you seem to be releasing from your life or stepping away from, moving on from, I just heard, uh, uh, you know, generally speaking, it was too nebulous, there were too many options, especially if this is in terms of a relationship, Scorpio. Um, 
somebody was gaslighting you, or maybe this is, maybe we, I could be talking to a cross watcher here, but take it as it resonates. Uh, it feels like gaslighting. It feels like there was, a, there was, a, oh shit, I missed it again. It feels like there was always a reason why either something couldn't happen or why something went wrong or excuses. The Seven of Cups, there it is. The Seven of Cups just repre represents at its base, again, define the specificities for yourself, but the Seven of Cups represents excuses. There's always a reason why something couldn't happen or why something shouldn't happen or why something wouldn't happen or why someone couldn't do something or why someone didn't want to do something or why something ended up not happening. Like there was always an excuse. Someone may have always been able to weasel their way out of something and, that, and Scorpio, that could have been you. So because of that, Again, regardless as to the specifics of the circumstance, Spirit is saying that very clearly, very, very, very clearly. Regardless of the specifics of the circumstance, the specificities, okay, a judgment call is being made to say, we're ending this, the world. We are bringing this cycle to a close because you know what? There are just too many options or just too many excuses. Perfect. Sounds about right to me is what, I, is what my higher self just said. Great. You don't need another reason than that. Nothing is solid. You know, nothing we can't, nothing is substantial. We can't come to a, a solid decision on something. We can't come to a solid um, resolution, blah, blah, blah. D this, that there's always something, there was, there's always something. So you know what? We're just gonna end it. We're just gonna stop this right now. And I am, or they are, somebody here is walking away. And is saying, no, I'm, you know what? I'm good. Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to stand on my own. I'd rather, you know what? Screw this. Or quite frankly, fuck this. I would much rather be single or I would much rather stand on my own or I would much rather be independent for whatever reason. Okay. The reason could very well be that you need to assert yourself. You need to work on being more independent. Or it could be something specific in this situation that's saying, you know what? Nah, I'm good. Okay, so why is Scorpio walking away? Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. What is this Eight of Cups energy for Scorpio? Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Ooh, look at that. A great reason. Another, you know what? Just like this Seven of Cups here, another excellent reason for someone to walk away because of their own personal alignment, because of what it is they want to be receiving in their life, Queen of Wands, with... The Ace of Wands. Ooh, ooh, Scorpio to the Eight of Wands. Oh, shit. Anything else for this Eight of Cups? Okay, so then now we have the Nine of Wands to the Knight of Swords. Oh, shit, to the Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Ten of Pentacles is saying to me, this situation has reached its climax. We're done here. We're good, we've had enough, cycle over, situation complete, life circumstance, life cycle over, done. You've graduated or you're graduating or you're able to graduate, you're eligible for graduation, so you might as well move on. Now, there is a strong level of aggressiveness coming through here and it is seen here in this Knight of Swords. All right, not gonna lie, Scorpio. And to be honest with you, that feels very much on, poor, on, on par, excuse me, with your energy with your alignment, with your personal energetic propensities, right? Um, like, don't piss off a Scorpio. You know, I mean, there are a lot of individuals, there are a lot of signs you don't want to piss off, but really, like, honestly, don't piss off a Scorpio. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, it's not going to end well for you. I'm going to be honest. It may also not turn out to be, you know, however the Scorpio reacts or responds may not be the best for them either, but it's definitely not going to work out well for you if you're the one that's on the bad side of a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they could be the nicest, most pleasant, most agreeable, most loving person, but if you rub them the wrong way, they are still a fucking Scorpio. Straight up and down, okay? Okay. <laughs> just want to point that out and that's where that's where this knight of swords energy is kind of coming from aggressively fighting back nine of wands 
Nine of, Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands. This Nine of Wands could represent the perseverance you may have exhibited in terms of this devilish, toxic, codependent energy, low vibrational energy. Okay, Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, and that could be exactly why you are fighting back so aggressively here. But it also could be this sense of determination for you to reach the end or get out of this situation. Nine of Wands. You might feel like you are... Um, uh, you've got your back up against the wall. You're between a rock and a hard place. You might be fight or flight mode. You know, you 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 might be like I'm seeing the the image of a dog that maybe has been abused or still hunting this mosquito and it still gets keeps getting away from me. Maybe has been abused or is fearful or is scared and is up against a wall and is fighting for its life. Now I'm not calling you a dog. I'm not calling you an animal, but that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling here. And it feels like you are aggressing, aggressively fighting for your right to go forward towards what it is that you want. And quite frankly, at its base, be free of all of this shit. Eight of Wands, okay? All right, cool. You're fighting for yourself. You are fighting for your right to choose. And that is a, that is a common theme for all of the signs, a common message for all of the signs here. Your right to choose. But you, Scorpio, are fighting for that or seem to be, or maybe will be fighting for that in the near future, depending on whenever this reading resonates for you or whenever you watch it, yeah? Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Look at that though, you have the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So, and of course the Ten of Pentacles was clarifying this Eight of Cups. So whatever it is you're walking away from, it feels like you are in this Nine of Pentacles state, ready to receive some sort of Ten of Pentacles energy whether this be career, business finances, or romantic relationship. I just feel like you're stepping out of this devil or toxic, low vibrational, codependent energy and attachment type of energy into a place of sovereignty, which will bring you to that 10 of pentacles, the ultimate physical completion for you, however that resonates potentially, okay? That's for some of you. All right, nine of pentacles. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio, please, spirit. First card you have is the Nine of Cups. And uh, yet again, Scorpio, another reason at its baseline, another way to justify what it is you seem to be going forward towards. Being happy. Yeah, huh? Nine of Pentacles, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. No other, you don't even need any other reason than that, Scorpio. You wanna be happy? Do what it is you need to do to be happy. And fuck the others. <laughs> okay, with that though, you do have the Eight of Swords. That is another typical that's been coming out all uh, for all the signs this month. Anything else for the Nine of, oh my God. Again, the lovers. I mean, I swear, this is crazy, Scorpio. I've been doing all of these readings for all of the signs. I still have Ophiuchus, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces to do at this moment. But everybody up until now has been getting this same energy, and it's one of personal liberation. The Eight of Swords to the Lovers, your right to choose, Scorpio. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. You are literally setting off to start a new life for yourself. And whatever this pentacle is that this page is holding could be symbolic of that final pentacle to take you from the nine to the 10. Building, whatever it is you're building, whatever new new life or new process you're starting, that is it. This is your pathway towards it. And you are liberating yourself, Scorpio. You are one of the only signs right now that I can absolutely say you are definitely liberating yourself right now. There's no question about it for you. Why? Because you want to be happy. Because you are an independent, sovereign thing with sovereign being, excuse me, with a mind of their own that works, that functions just well quite well, maybe even, you could say, but at, at least is sufficient enough for you to be able to think for yourself, which is exactly what you're doing. You are choosing the lovers in terms of what is serving your highest good, the lovers, to liberate yourself, eight of swords, from a confining situation, the devil in reverse, standing independently in terms of being happy. Kudos to you, my friend. Okay, so finally then, let's talk about what is this Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups for my Scorpios, please, Spirit. 
damn, yo, dude, like you can't, this is crazy. This is crazy, Scorpio, because I shuffle the deck, I, I kind of shuffle in between, but then in the beginning of the reading, I do my, the, my intro and I shuffle while I intro. And then I free pull these cards to clarify and the same damn cards keep coming out. The first card out for your five of cups is the friggin' tower. You cannot make this shit up, dude. Big change, massive change. The release from a cycle, I'm hearing. Five of cups, clarify the five of cups, please. Next card, the six of wands. You better be victorious. You better do yourself a victory, a victory lap. I mean, like, Scorpio, this could have been a really toxic situation, a really toxic romantic relationship or circumstance. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be anything. But you being free of this, Scorpio, yo, is a massive win. What I'm feeling from this Six of Wands energy is a, an extreme level of relief. You are finally free of all of that toxicity, of all of that low vibrational madness. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, and this is exactly why you are free. The Hanged Man, a change in perspective. This right here, this change in perspective, the enlightenment that you've received, however it is that you're seeing your situation or just maybe life in general, however differently it is you're seeing this, this is the exact reason why you are standing to be liberated. All because of a change in mindset for you. A change in your focus, a change in the way that you are looking at things, a change in the way that you ultimately see things, a change in the way that you feel about things, a change in your belief system in terms of this specific situation or just life in general as a whole. That is what your liberation process is hinging upon. And this absolutely 100% is a victory for you, Scorpio. I mean, the amount of relief that I'm feeling from this Six of Wands energy, even though we're clarifying the grieving process of the Five of Cups, yes, something has or will be spilling out, released, let go of, lost even, if you wanna say it that way. But the liberation involved with this is so freeing. There is such a weight or burden that is being taken off of your shoulders. Either it's being taken off by the universe or you are literally taking it off yourself. I love that. I absolutely love that for you, Scorpio. Okay. So with that said, let's get your closing message. Closing message for Scorpio. Oh, yes. The fool. Bam. I mean, I kind of want to leave it there, but let's see what else Spirit wants to say. The Empress. Yes, honey. Anything else for Scorpio for their closing message? Nope, that's it. And none other than your own damn self. The King of Cups. You better get it, Scorpio. But you see, this is perfect. Yes, okay, yes. This does represent your energy, Scorpio. But of course, I mean, technically it could represent any water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay, it doesn't even have to represent a water sign. Okay, but it's still representing you, Scorpio, in terms of being emotionally aware, emotionally mature, emotionally grounded, and being able to weather the storm that is ensuing because of the choices that you are making. And these choices, albeit are the, re the best thing for you, are definitely not easy. But you know what, Scorpio? It's worth it. Why? Because ultimately you have the fool to the empress here. You are taking a leap of faith. You are starting a new journey. You are starting a new cycle. You are starting a new process. Didn't the world come out for you somewhere? Now I don't remember. I do, maybe, I don't know. It doesn't matter. And in that new cycle, that new way of being, this leap of faith you are stepping out on, honey, there is so much abundance, so much love, so much possibility, infinite possibilities. And that right there, my friend, is the ultimate victory. So there you go, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to leave it there. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Also, smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment letting me know how this resonates for you. And subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. But with that said, Scorpio, I hope... You have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beautimus. Bye.